<laughs> ho, 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 my fantastic friends. Merry Christmas. Santa Claus is about due to, to come and uh, deliver some, some magical gifts to all you girls and boys. It could be good, that is. That is. Okay, I've got a little bit of tinsel on, but I don't think I'll keep this on. It's it's, it's already itching my neck, so we'll get rid of that. But what we'll do, we'll uh, paint a nice Christmassy kind of painting. I hope it's going to be Christmassy anyway. All going well, all going well. Get that out of my eye as well. Okay, on this big canvas up here, what we've got is a mixture of liquid white and liquid clear. And the clear will act like a, a glaze, uh, all being well. It'll give, when the painting's finished, it'll, it'll look like a, a nice sheen on there as well. Like a, like a Christmassy sheen, I suppose. So, let's let's crack on. So it's all wet, it's slick, we can blend colour up here rather than down on the canvas. Now I'm going to take a tiny bit on a one inch paintbrush, I don't know if you can see that there, I'm just going to grab some Indian yellow and only a tiny bit, okay, and I'm just going to put it just above horizon and obviously off centre. We don't want things dyed bang on in the centre as so that will just disturb the eye. And just a tiny bit of Indian yellow, work that around, okay, till it blends out. And I'll pick up the clear and the white, and I'll get a little bit more fainter as it works away. <laughs> Looks like we've got a fried egg already, doesn't it? Fried egg. Okay, so we'll just feather that out, just to nothing. There we go. Maybe a bit of reflection down here, whatever we have, I don't know. Right, pick up a clean brush, and this is going to be a two inch brush, and I'm going to go into a tiny bit of the Thalo Blue. Okay, this is dangerous territory having blue and green up here, but uh, we can work it in. Okay, so I'm just going to put some blue just around this. Just there, just feather that in as well. Okay, just feather that in. And you can see it's not going lighter as, as we'd expect because it's not got as much liquid white on there. So I want the colors to be quite vibrant, bright. And that's where the liquid clear comes in. Okay, we'll just get that down there. Now we don't want to go too heavy onto the uh, the yellows as we'll make a green sky. And if that happens in this painting, it happens. Okay, and we're just going to feather that out. Feather that out. Now without cleaning the brush, I'm just going to go into some magenta. This is a, a Winton colour, not a Bob Ross one. And we're just going to put some magenta up there. And when it mixes with the blue, we'll get a lovely, a lovely violet colour as well. There we go. So I hope you're all ready for Santa Claus coming. I've been excited for about a month now. It's going to be great stuff. It really is. It's going to be really good. Okay, very little paint on the paintbrush. Right, I'm just going to take some violet as well and come up there with a bit of violet. Just like that. Look at the colours already in this canvas. Maybe go all the way up to the top. Get that in. Get that in. Okay. All right. A bit more on the other side. So a bit more of the violets and the purples. And we'll pull that in from that side. Really scrub it in. Hardly any of the liquid colours on there. There we go. And a bit more up there as well. Maybe a bit of a Liz and Crimson. Set that off. Yeah, Liz and Crimson. Just there, like that. Nice, vibrant colours. Okay. Right, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take some more liquid clear and a clean brush. Just a tiny bit of liquid clear. Pour it on your palette and just dab. And then I'm just going to come up here and I'm just going to start to mishmash all this together. Just fetch it all together, blend it all together. Get a little stray air, just flick the stray air off. 
And there we go, blending as we go around. There we go. We can go right over this, gonna come back with some white for that part. In fact, we'll do that now. Mix all this, really get in there, really churn it up, really mix it all together, really take out your frustrations here. Get tough with this. So, right, now I'm going to take a little bit, I'm going to take that same colour, I'm going to take a tiny bit of white paint and I'm just going to pull it out. I'm going to work in this central point, so I'll just touch on and work out. Just touch on and work out. Now that looks crazy, doesn't it? But those colours will start to seep through eventually. They really will. There we go, there we go, there we go. Santa Claus is coming tonight. <laughs> All right. Pick up a drier brush. Here we go, this one will do. Then we can start feathering all this out. Just like that. So we'll have a nice little little glow just there. A little turquoisey glow in the sky. Take all this across. And bring it all together. And the reason why we've diluted that yellow down is we want it to be some sort of a like a, a a bit of a glow in the sky, but it's going to be like a night time. I'm going to put some stars up here, some twinkling stars, all being well. Like that. Okay, so we've got a bit of a variant of colour up there already. Let's add a bit more, I'm a little bit, I want to add a little bit more of this magenta up there. I really want it vibrant in these corners. So in there we want it diluted more whiter but in these corners I really want some some vi vibrant violets yeah like that and we can fetch some of that down and all you need to do is just play with colour build up layers of colour layers of paint basic shapes and you will have such a fun time there we go all the way across up and down yeah there we go, right, I'm going to put a cloud in this, so let's take a fan brush and a bit of white paint, just normal white paint, just there like so, we'll see how it goes, we may need to change the tone of this, uh, this cloud, but we'll, we'll just fluff in something like that, just twi twiddle and jiggle the brush, let the brush do the work. Yeah, like that. Really get in there. Just tap. Really get in there. And let the brush do the work for you. There we go. Put another one up there as well. So again, jiggle, turn. We don't know. We don't care. We're just having fun. It's Christmas. I'm desperate to get my hands on a mince pie. I do like a mince pie and I do like a nice nice glass of port as well at Christmas time. I love a glass of port at Christmas time actually. Right, but enough said about that. Right, so I'm just gonna swill off the brush. I've got Oldless paint thinner down here. So just wash that in the paint can, in the paint cleaner can. And then knock off the excess. Okay. So with a clean dry brush down at the base of these clouds, just twirl and blend this into the into the canvas. That's all we need to do. That's all we need to do on that part. Just blend and then just lightly we're gonna go in big circular strokes upwards. 
just like this. There. So I hope you're all feeling well and festive and are ready for some turkey or nut, nut roast and uh, some parlor games. <laughs> Sugar games. <laughs> and watching endless amounts of James Bond while asleep. Or whatever film they put on nowadays. It used to be James Bond all the time so when I was a lad. Okay, same on this one, so we blend and tickle. And we'll just fluff up, fluff up, and then just gently across. Really set those clouds into the sky. Get on there, like that. And there we have it, a little bit of a sky. We'll add another cloud, I think that was going quite well. I'm gonna change the flavor of the cloud. Where I'll put that, that brush. So I'm just gonna grab some of this, and I'm gonna grab a tiny bit a tiny bit of yellow ochre. Just a tiny bit of yellow ochre to this. And then we'll put another one here. Same thing. Same thing. We don't have to worry about where we're going. Just there, like so. Nice cloud. Maybe take it off the edge. I like that. I like that effect. there so I'm just twirling the brush okay so set that down and again back to the brush that's uh, not that one it's got paint on it and then we'll just swirl the bottom and of course it'll mix with the white and the clear that's already on there make it nice and easy for us to blend okay I'm gonna lift up and up and up and up and up just like that and then lightly go across there, there we go. Right, that's time for another cloud, but a little bit dark. I'm gonna swirl that brush off. Okay, I'm gonna go into uh, Midnight Black. Midnight Black. No, I'm not. That was the wrong color. <laughs> it happens. Midnight Black and Prussian Blue look exactly the same. We don't want a blue cloud now, do we? Come to think of it, do we want a black cloud? Maybe. I like the contrast, especially when you change the shape of the cloud. So if we go, let's say, like this, and push some of this in there like that, so it looks wispy and magical. It could come round here like that. Like so, maybe one up here. That breaks that, that breaks that. Maybe it's a moon. In fact, we'll put a moon in there. That's a good idea, that. Thank you. Thank you for having a bit of an input. Oh. Okay, so some, some black clouds. Some of, some of them are in front and some of them behind. Like that. Now we've got four. Let's try a fifth. Or oh, extend that one there, like that, yeah. Okay, there we go, right again, so get the dry brush and we're just going to set those in so all we need to do is just gently go across and set those into the painting. Now you could have painted those with a palette knife. In fact on one of the future videos on the new channel, Painting with Master Temple, <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We're going to paint a full picture with a palette knife. Show you how, how simple it can be. If you just make friends with a palette knife. Okay, right. So that's there. Right, now let's take, take your finger. Pick a finger, whichever finger you want. I'm going to go for the pointy finger. I'm going to put that there, like so. And then just a little circle. Little circle. And that will give the indication, the indication of a nice little moon back there. And then just gently go across that. There we go. And we've got the halo of a moon. There. Happy days. Right, let's add some stars. So all I'm going to do is take a uh, script liner brush. Okay, 
and uh, some white paint. So this is liquid white and a bit of titanium white. And I'm gonna speckle on some stars. Now I hope you can see that it's, 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 it's very faint, but at the end of the video, you'll be able to see these. I'll do a full on picture. Sometimes I forget to uh, to do that. Sometimes I forget to take a picture of it full on until I've, uh, I've uh, you know, finished. Had to move the painting on, and they are now. So yeah. So these little dots in the sky, these stars, will obviously give the impression that this is a nighttime scene. And that's exactly what we want. Exactly what we want. Okay, as many as you want, or as few as you want. Maybe there's a couple of bright ones just coming through the halo there. All right, swirl the brush off. Again, in odorless dinner. And there we go. Now, what you need to do is take a very delicate brush. Okay, now this has got, this is made of pony hair. And you're just gonna touch on and just touch. Touch these, just like that. And gently go from side to side and it, it will create like a little mini halo around the around these things if you've got more if you've got more paint on like that one there just keep blending it'll go into the color that's already on the canvas especially this big strong color of magenta up there down here, just tickle them away. You'll be able to see them. But they'll be a little less, less in your face. Yeah, like so, and there, and that one. Uh, don't leave these out up here. Like that. And then you can come back in with a clean palette knife, okay? L use the small edge of the small knife, okay? And then pick out one or two that's really bright like this one I can create a nice little star effect there like that really put a twinkle in that maybe this one here there and across like so Let's see. there like that they're sparklers already aren't they and another one there. Okay, we could do as many of those as we want, but I think three, three is enough for today. If you want to add more, you can add more. So by all means, add more. Uh, if you want less, don't put them in. Okay, right, so we were gonna have, I think we're gonna have uh, maybe uh, an old house somewhere about here, I think something like that so let's put some background material in so far away far away where's that fan brush i keep losing my fan brush i put it over there you see far away i'll wash that off because it's got the black paint on it we don't want any more black paint but what we do want we'll pick up some of this magenta and we'll pick up some white magenta and white make a beautiful gorgeous gorgeous purple color and again, this is, this is a magical world, okay? I know hills are not going to be necessarily bright pink in colour. But we'll just, we'll just put some in. Okay, this is like psychedelic stuff, you know. We're having a good time. We're having a good time, that knows. Okay, so there, down like that. Bring it up. Okay, maybe a bit more. And up there. And jiggle that about. Okay, and then just fill this in. You might even take this up, up there as well. We don't know. We don't know where it goes. There. So, what are you actually expecting for Christmas? Now, what is Santa Claus actually gonna bring you? I uh, I've asked for a few things, but um, 
I'm not at liberty to say because uh, little ears and all that lot watch the show. So uh, if it comes off, it comes off, and it doesn't, you know. We never know what's happening, do we? We never know. Okay, so a bit of white paint there, there, and there. I just really want to highlight some of this this funky psychedelic side. Okay, a bit more white paint down there. Let's create a valley there, like that. Okay, again, a bit more white paint. So this is how easy it is to paint mountains. If you're not used to the palette knife, you could just paint them just like so. Yeah, like that. Get, get friends with your palette knife, but also make friends with your paint brushes as well. Yeah, it helps. So everything lives in these brushes, you see. All, all you gotta do is just shake them out, scare them free. <laughs> if you say, Dan, you've been uh, you've been on too many sherries already, too many Christmas sherries. Okay, now I've grabbed a bit of blue. I'm just going to put some shadows in at this side, just like that. It's just a bit of blue and violet. Again, if you want in the colours of the paints I use, they're down in the description. You know. Yeah, there you go. And this is one of the last paintings I'm going to be doing on the, uh, the Treasures channel. My main channel. I'm going to be... In the, in the new year, I'm going to be focusing purely on coins on this channel. But you may be watching this on the, uh, on the painting channel, the new painting channel. And if you are, thank you and welcome for coming over. And if you're watching it on Master Temple's Treasures, thank you for sticking with me. Yeah, there, there we go. Maybe a bit more darker blue down there, there, and there. Right. So I can just scrub the, that off the brush down there. We don't care. Wash the brush out again. Ogler's paint thinner. Okay. Right. Let's grab a, a drier brush. One with no paint on it, preferably. And I'm just going to come down very gently. Grab all this and just pull. Just gently pull all that. Just blend all that. Soften it all. Take out the brush strokes. There, like that. And then down there as well. Like so. And then on this side. Maybe a bit more white, I think. So, a bit more white paint. Just down here. Like that. Maybe. A bit more in here. You see things, okay? You see things from time to time. Like that. Right. Now what we're going to do? We're going to take a big brush. And I'm going to tap in some some white paint, and I'm just going to beat the base of this. I'm going to miss the base of this pink hill or purple hill. You see, I'm going to let you into a little secret. I didn't know what kind of painting I was going to paint until I started painting it. I had a rough idea. I didn't know these colours were going to come out and I didn't know... Uh, <laughs> I didn't know we were going to have hills like this in there. And what I was going to paint for you, I may show you at the end if I get a chance. If I remember in the edit, someone remind me, someone please remind me. Okay, so just beat that across. We created some mist there now. You can hear how hard I'm hitting the canvas. And this is why you need a really good, strong easel. You're hitting a canvas like a drum with a big two inch brush. All this could come crashing over. And that has happened to every artist. Happened to me no end of times. It's happened to me even when I've been recording paintings. Uh, it's not, it's not fun, it's not fun. Watching your masterpiece just slowly fall onto the floor. Yeah, but it's happened to us all. All right, so there we go. So now we've got just filling this in with a bit more white paint, I think. 
since it's Christmas, we'll have a bit more snow. There, like that. How's it looking so far, folks? Right, let's work on some background trees. All right, so which brush are we gonna use on that? I think we're gonna use this rounded brush. Okay, I'm gonna take some sap green. Let's go crazy with the colors. It's Christmas time, so let's go crazy with the colors. So I'm gonna take some sap green and I'm gonna just touch on. And every that, and, and put my teeth back in, Danny. Okay, every now and again, I'm gonna just alter the flavor of these trees. Right, I'm just gonna tap down a couple of little trees that live down here. Like that. So we've got a variant of colors going on as well. Okay, maybe a bit more up there as well, and maybe another one just there. Got a small grove or herd or school, whatever we call them, of trees that are living way back, way back there. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's work. Just pop this down. So we'll take the palette knife and we can just scrape in the indication of a tree trunk. All right. Now I'm going to take some white paint, and again it's going to be thin white paint. So just touch that. Got some of that green colour on there, and we're just going to touch every now and again. And if it's not sticking. You probably need a bit more thin white paint. We're just going to touch on and create some highlights. Just every now and again, not many. Just highlight some of these trees just there. Like that. Another one, maybe on this darker one there. Again, it will give the impression that the tree's got a little bit more into it than, than just flat old dead colour. Okay, I'm going to even get a bit of yellow in that. Down there as well. Really change the flavour. Like so, right. Let's grab some of this paint. So, what we're going to do, just grab some of this and just pull out. Now the worst thing in the world is yellow and green snow. Okay. Just bear that in mind. But this is a magical type. So they can be reflections. There like that. In fact, if we get a bit more of that green, we could alter it upside down like so. there like that and we've got instant reflection so we'll just gently just gently go down there and then across like that okay a little bit of land on there so I'm gonna mix a little bit of uh, burnt sienna and a bit of white paint and don't over mix and I'm gonna put some dirt down here Okay, just to separate this, just a bit of dirt. Now you could put magenta in this as well and really sparkle it off. I really like that magenta paint. That purples, purple is my favorite color. I know, I know from speaking to some of you guys, it's, it's your favorite color as well. It really is such a nice, warm, uh, joyful, mystical color. It really is. Right white now just a tiny bit of white paint not much I'm just going to touch the toppers of that a bit of highlight on this mud there like so okay scrape off some of this green we don't want no more green up there a little bit of liquid white and i'm just going to come in neaten this edge up 
put a water line just underneath all this. There, like so. So we don't know where we're going to have as uh, as little uh, trees and bushes, but we know it's somewhere there. There's something there, so we we'll probably have something here like that. I don't know what yet. I don't know what yet. Really not looking like the reference painting I tried to paint earlier. <laughs> Sometimes I do that every now and again, especially if I'm trying to paint, you know, like for like a season. I may have a go at a painting and uh, and and. and Give, it, give myself a little bit of a practice run and then other times I just go straight at it. Um, this is a cross between this one. I'm going straight at it and uh, having a practice beforehand. Right, let's get on with this part here. So I think we should have a little bit of, where are you? I'm looking for this brush, okay. So what we're gonna get, we're gonna get a bit of a, uh, Prussian blue, I think. Prussian blue, a Liz and Crimson. Mix them on the brush. Bit more crimson, I think, in that. Okay, I'm gonna come up here, just touch. And maybe a bit more, bit, bit more oil. Thin it down somewhat. Again, we're getting plenty of paint now on here. And then across, side to side. This, that is a real deep, dark purple. And then right over there like that. And then let's give him a friend. Right there. Like that, I love that color. I hope you can. I hope the, the TV picks up or the computer screen picks up that lovely colour. That is, that is something else. Okay, let's put one on this side as well. I'm running out of paint. I didn't mix enough. Just drop that in. So again, I get. I put more pressure as we're going from side to side. As we're coming down the hill, oh, sorry, down the tree hill. A purple pillar. Got purple hills on the brain. Purple pills. So as we're going down the hill. Okay. Right. A bit more colour, so purples, crimsons. Halo blue, okay, plenty of paint, okay. I want to really neaten this one up. It doesn't look too good to me. There, yeah, like that. And then maybe we'll just put in some, some bushes and stuff down there like so. And that will encase that little pond back in there. Okay, right, I think we should do some more. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Okay, so a bit more purple, a bit more blue, a bit more phthalo blue. Okay, then we'll come up here. We'll, ooh, we'll have a big one just there, like that. Side to side, side to side. Now, if you thin your paint quite thin, you should be able to get this looking like a nice evergreen tree. There, like that. Okay. Maybe another one up here. I can't leave this side out. I keep wanting to leave this side out, and I don't know why. I don't know why, but we'll touch, 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 touch. There. Now we've got five trees. Put that there, like that. Okay, maybe we'll have a bigger one there. Who knows? Who knows? Right, so let's get some colour on the brush. Let's get some white. Just going to touch here and tap all this in. Just tap at the base of these trees. There, like that. Just 
Let's really get tough. Yeah, bring it over like that. And this will look like mist. Not easy, is it? <laughs> Not easy. All right. You know, I'm going to paint blindfolded one day. I really am. I'm going to paint blindfolded and see where we go from that. Okay, so now we've got a little bit of mist down there. Right, back to this brush with the, uh, the blues on it. And we can just start, we can tweak some of this out there like that. Okay, and maybe this one comes down there and it pushes that lot back. And again, back to the brush. Just beat out the base of those. Like, that. like so, right. I think we said we were gonna have a house somewhere here, so let's work on that. Uh, we've got a couple of moments left, haven't we? Right, so get rid of some of this. We don't want all this on the palette. Okay, so I'm going to go into browns, both browns, that's Van Dyke and Burnt Sienna and black in there. Really get in there, really mush that paint up, really mix it together. Okay, and I'm going to put my house, I'm going to have it. There, so I'm going to scrape out all this paint. There and there. And the back part's going to come down there, like so. I'm just going to put a little line. Let it go up and down. You probably can't see that, but, but I can. There. And then there. Really push that in, and it doesn't matter if these are 100% are, are straight. You know, if you if you've ever found come across an old barn in the woods or in places like this, the uh, they tend to be a little bit worse for wear, run down, yeah, like that. Okay, so let's work on this uh, this part. So we push in and. Really firmly push down. Really firmly push down. Really push that paint into the fabric. Again there, like that. Yes, I'm gonna... <laughs> now you must know that this hat is not for meant for a, a head like mine. This Santa hat certainly wasn't meant for, for Santa. It's, uh, I think it's a child's hat. Anyway, it really is tight. It really is unbelievably tight. I thought it was a good idea at the time. But um, all good ideas are, you know, sometimes, you know, crazy. Right, I'm going to take some, <laughs> some white paint. I'm going to mix that, mix that together with a bit of browns. I'm not going to over mix this now. I'm go all I'm going to do is just going to touch on. I'm just going to create some boards that you can see. Now again, you may not be able to pick this up if you're watching on a phone or um, an old TV perhaps, but you will be able to, at the end, I'll, I'll take a front shot of this and you'll be able to see all the boards that aren't here and like that and when this dries as well this will feel like real wood real wood it will feel like real wood yeah <laughs> you see us, uh, us artists need to be a little tiny bit uh, bizarre at times don't we Okay, so make that a little bit darker, so just that original brown colour, make it a tiny bit darker and just put in there 
Now they are hard to see because they're almost the same colour as the wood or the boards that are on there, but but they're there. We, we can see them when we get close. There, because we want a darker side and a lighter side. In fact, I'm going to darken it even more, I think, by just adding some black to that. There we go, that's even darker. that happy days right let's let's cut in a door so again we're going to go for the black i'm going to pull that black out i'm going to grab it on the little tiny side of the knife and i'm going to go here let's put the door there okay just really drop that in just there like that Okay, that might be hard to see, but we'll highlight that in a moment. All right, uh, a little bit of yellow and white. This is a bit that we had mixed up from earlier from the sky. And I'm just going to drop in a window just there. We might need to scrape out a little bit of space for that, but that's all right. And we'll have a, a window at this side, a window at this side. There. So again, back to that paint. A bit of yellow and white. And we'll just put that in there like so. A bit more. There, like that. Oh, picked up the brown and not the yellow and white, so let's get some more. Can't have that, can we? So again, just there, like so. There we go. So the lights are gone. The lights are on. Is anyone home? Is anyone home? Well, we'll find out, won't we? We'll find out when we put a chimney on. Okay, so just a bit of white paint. We'll just highlight that door frame. Just there, like so. Right, let's work. I'm just going to put a bit of black just here on this eve, as in shadow. Just there, like that, in shadow. There, maybe a bit too down there. Okay, let's work on some uh, some snow on this roof. So again, pull out that flat paint, that flat white paint. Get the paint off my hand first. Okay, and I'm gonna start on this side, and I'm gonna just just gently there, just down the side. If you picked up some black. Just wipe the knife, start again. Like that. One more, last little bit, just there. Okay, now that looks like thick, thick snow on that roof. Okay, let's paint the other side. So all I'm gonna do is just gonna put a line there. Yeah. Line across the bottom here. line across there like that and then we're going to fill it in that's all we need to do so draw your lines and then fill that in i'm really going to put some thick paint on here i want it to look thick like there's been a snowstorm there has been storms actually lately it's been absolutely bedlam and another bit up here as well like that. And a bit there, like there. I think we'll have a tree just caving this in. Casing it in, not caving in. Not in a cave, are we? Not cavemen. Okay. Just there. Alright. <laughs> I still can't get over the colour of this. Right, so there we go. So that's a lot of thick. Now that might take, well, it'll be definitely the new year when that gets to dry. It's probably about an eighth of an inch thick. Okay, let's work on this now. So let's take a tiny bit of white paint. And then we're just gonna grab the base of this and pull out. Now if we've got, if we've got some dirt there, 
If we grab some of that brown, it'll look like dirt or shadows in the snow. That's exactly what we're wanting. Okay, go same on this side, just pull out. Just pull that out there like that and then just bring it all together. And that looks like an old barn. Yeah, like that. Now I think we said we'll put a little chimney on this. Okay, so let's put a little chimney on. So let me grab a brush. Okay. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of uh, let's take let's take a bit of crimson and a bit of red together. Maybe a bit of black in there as well. Okay, and at the back, just here, now be very careful, don't touch the snow, I'm just going to put a little chimney just like that. That's all we need. Okay, wash that, and then a bit of white, and we'll take a little bit of black as well. And then we can put some snow, uh, so we can put some, uh, some uh, smoke up here, so... This is just white and black, and we're just going to touch like this, and then just feather that off to wherever. And then that looks like it's a little bit of smoke coming out of there. So someone must be old. Somebody must be old. Right, take a dryer brush. I'm running out of dry brushes. Yeah, this will do. And then just again. Just like we did with the clouds, just churn them up slightly like that, and then just gently lift up. There, then we've got a nice smoky chimney. Well, but it's nice and warm in there. All right, let's work on a little path. Let's work on a tiny path. Let's grab a little brush. Okay, so I'm going to go back into uh, violet blue, and then just work this. A bit more and a bit more crimson in that too blue yeah, that's nice that's better work that from side to side that looks like a nice path going to that house all right let's put some snow down let's get some snow all right so fan brush there's a number three i think three fan brush all right, I'm going to put some snow on top of this. I don't like the grey colour that it's become. So we'll just put some snow drifts there like that. There, and then just round that over. Blend that into that path. There, like that. And again on this side. So we we'll come down like that push that path down so think of think of angles when you when you're painting these there like that yeah I like it so we'll bring that across and around looks like a natural hump there just to put a tree sometimes you see that and when I've got that on the brush I'm just going to take a bit of magenta and just put some magenta in there just to change the flavour. We don't want too much of a dead colour all, in, all at once now, do we? Right, we can put a tree up there, can't we? So back to the brush with the blues on. Right, so take a tiny bit of uh, violet Crimson, magenta, Prussian blue, and a tiny bit this time. We'll have a tiny bit of phthalo and Prussian blue mix there. Right. And we'll have a bigger tree just about there. Just like that, right in front of the smoke. And then side to side. Now, the problem is going to be when we start to cover the house. Okay, so we want to cover the house and push everything back. So we may have to thin the paint. Okay, let's work on that. So we'll just thin the paint down. So what I'm going to do, tiny bit of paint thinner to that. Not much. And then just one or two touches. Over there, like that. 
I don't want to take any of that white paint anywhere else. Yeah, like that. That's it, that's got it. That's in front of the house, and that's there, like so. So that pushes that lot back, you see. Okay, let's put one on the other side. There we go, about there, I think. Big one, let's change the flavor. Let's put a bit more purple in this one, okay. So there we go, there. So we've got lots of different colors on the paintbrush now. We've got blues, purples, crimsons. We've got phthalo blue, Prussian blue. It's all there and you can see it all, eventually be able to see it all. Yeah, all the way down to about there. Okay, that looks a weird composition, doesn't it? Okay, I'm just gonna put a few weeds just up there. Just to case that in and bring that down, yeah, like that. Yeah. There we go. Right, let's work on the other side. Okay, so a bit of white paint, plenty of white paint actually. I'm just going to put a few little shadowy things in there. I know it's white paint, but this is where the shadow side will be. So we'll pull that down there, like so. But continuously mix it with the, the blues that are on the canvas. Okay. And then we can get into the colour that's on the tree. And look at that. It just comes alive and it just shoots out at you. Different colours. Different colours. There we go. <laughs> oh, Dad, you've done it now. There, like that that down blend that together like that yes like that a bit like this there let's grab some of these paints as well so that will mix there and look like shadows shadows in the snow Look at the colours. That's that's what we want to see in it. Beautiful colours. Beautiful. I'm just going to work them strokes out a little different. Right, I'm going to put a tree. No, no, no more trees. No more trees. People go mad at too many trees. Okay. Bit of brown paint. Let's put a little fence there and there. A bit bigger there. Okay, and then uh, palette knife time. We take a little bit of white paint and we can come across here and just zip in maybe a wire or a plank, that, a thin plank that's got some, uh, some snow on it. Then just like that, we'll take that off the canvas actually. There, there like so. Every now and again, you can see a tree trunk. Of course, you can. Gotta go all this lot up, hasn't it? Yeah, a bit more there. Like that. Okay, very bizarre old kind of painting, this one. But uh, but we've enjoyed it, haven't we? Uh, well, I have. It's been uh, it's been a blast. A few ripples here and there. So yeah, it's a little bit it's a little bit different from what I usually paint, but. Um, I think I think we're about done now. So we've got a nice smoking house. We have got wonderful coloured trees, uh, silhouetted. Uh, we've got uh, a beautiful moon. We've got a lovely coloured sky. We've got twinkling stars. We've got everything apart from a signature. So let's get a signature on the go. And when I do that, I want to thank you all just for being with me again today. It's been a it's been an absolute pleasure painting for you. We'll paint this. Uh, Take the signature down there, so D, C, T again. I will sign the back, as I always do after the painting dries. But um, yeah, do check out the new painting channel. If you're on the new painting channel, thank you for watching. And let me know, let me know if you're watching. Subscribe to both channels and uh, have a very, very Merry Christmas. Do take care of the sun. Stay safe. I'm going to go take this really tight hat off now. 
I said they're later. Happy days. <laughs>